What's up guys, Andrew Script coming at you guys today with a brand new video. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. This is kind of more of a sh collection show off video. I'm going to show you guys some comic books. I do have a pretty big comic book collection that I don't think I've really talked about much on my channel. Um, I don't really collect comics much anymore compared to, that I, to what I used to. Um, but I just kind of want to show you guys some of the cool collections I have here. And uh, this is basically going to be my hatchet comic book collection. Um... So yeah, let's just kind of jump right into this. So this this series came out about, I think, one or two years ago now. Um, I'm honestly, I know I'm a little behind on the comics. I'm not too sure how many they are up to now, but I do have a lot of the first original stuff I wanted to show you. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that here. So actually, let me, let me just turn off this light here so you guys don't have a really bad glare. It just might be a slight bit darker. Yeah. All right. I still think it'll be okay, though. Anyways, uh, so the first issue we have here is Adam Green's Hatchet number zero. And this is the sketch cover. So you can see here there's not really any artwork. It just says Hatchet. Um, and so a lot of times in comic books, too, they'll, they'll run an issue zero, which is technically the first one. They just call it number zero. Um, so this one had quite a few different variants. This was one of them here being the sketch cover. Uh, the other one I have is another sketch cover here, but this one actually has some writing on it. This is limited to 50 um, that Adam Green actually personalized and autographed here. So he kind of uh, gives you a quote from Hatchet here, signs it, and then it's numbered, which is really cool. Um, another one I have here of another number issue zero is a Box of Dread exclusive edition. Um, so I actually bought the Box of Dread that month specifically to get this issue um because it does have the limited edition cover there with the autograph as well here's another issue of, of number zero this is the photo cover um, maybe a little dark hopefully you guys can kind of see that let me see maybe i take it out of here it's just a darker photo in general but it's victor crowley there ripping apart his face um then this is the I'm not even sure how you would say this. The LaRue, the LaRue Q cover. <laughs> I might be saying that wrong. Um, but that's a really cool cover artwork there as well. And that's also still number zero. And then I have another number zero, zero here, which is the um, Hassan, Hassan cover. And I'm just going to show this to you guys anyways. I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to but it's basically the same issue but this is the R-rated cover um yeah this is the Magnum cover and uh, now we are on to issue number one this is the main cover and all of these you're seeing are all autographed by Adam Green I bought them directly through Adam Green's website Aeroscope which I think you could still get some of these on there Here's the gore cover. The full moon cover. The hand of horror cover. And then kind of the same thing with this one. This is the R-rated cover. And that is the photo cover. Um, now we are on to issue number two. And this is the photo cover for that one. Here's the gore cover, the main mutilation cover, and now we are on to number three. So you can kind of see number two didn't have as many um, variants as number zero and number one did. Um, and that's kind of how the same thing is for number three here. I believe I have everything from zero, one, two, and three for sure. Um, and then this is number three here. So this is the main cover main who acts you cover and then this is the number three uh swamp terror cover the cut in two cover 
Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm so sorry, guys. I actually did miss an issue number two um, here, which is the No Mercy cover. Um, that must have gotten mixed in the bottom there. I usually have these in order. I didn't check, which I should have. But this is the number two issue, which is the No Mercy cover. So that is all of the Hatchet comic books from this series I have. Um, like I said, I have basically, I think I have everything from 0, 1, 2, and 3. I don't know if there's a 4, um, but I know there's another issue or another series that they started with the Hatchet franchise called the, uh, the, uh, um, Vengeance. I think it's called Hatchet Vengeance. And I think one, in, I think there's two issues possibly out for that, but there might be more. Um, I'm definitely going to pick those up soon. Um, I do have a couple other Hatchet related comics. So this is actually from a different um, series called Hack Slash, which is actually a really cool comic book series I definitely recommend as well. And also I should mention that about the Hatchet comics. Um, it's actually fantastic. If you guys are fans of the Hatchet franchise, I highly recommend checking these out. Uh, like I said, they give you really cool side stories. Um, it's just lots of fun. The artwork is great. The story is great. They are really, really good. And uh, kind of going back to this now. The Hack and Slash series was a uh, um, is a really cool series that kind of does some mashups with other big horror uh, icons in the franchise in the other franchises. Uh, but they did do a crossover with Hatchet, and this came out quite a quite some time ago. It's you no, know, it's been some few, a few years now. Uh, but this is they changed the name to Hatchet Slash which is old school American horror versus comic book horror hunter. And this is signed by Adam Green as well. Um, this was pretty expensive. I believe I bought this directly through Ariscope because he only had one. And uh, I think I paid like 70 bucks for it or something, which probably was probably more than I should have, but um, it was still really cool and I was happy to, to pick it up. This I actually found at uh, Denver Comic Con a couple years back. And this was another issue um, or variant cover of the same book. Yeah, this is cover B here. Um, and I got this for $6, and it's Hatchet Slash. And this was a fun little story to, to read about, too. So, anyways, guys, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if you guys are really interested in checking out my comic books. I do have a pretty good collection of them. Um, so if you guys do like that, want to see more of it, I can do that for you guys. I'd love to show you guys. I do have some Holliston comics as well as, um, you know, Preacher, my all-time favorite comic book series of all time. I'd love to show you guys the different comic book issues of those. Um, so yeah, guys, just let me know what you think down below. And uh, actually, I do have one of last thing to show you guys. It might get a lot of glare on it, but this is actually just kind of related to the Hatchet comic book series. I got this really cool poster. Um, from American Mythology, who's the one that puts out this comic book series. And yeah, it's a it's a nice little poster that I got buying it from them directly. Because one of the covers was like, limited to their, or exclusive to their uh, website as well, I believe. So, alright guys, that is it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.